Yo, what's up, guys? Hand it is on. And uh, I got a lot of comments asking me how I made this uh, glow for the window right here. Just like this. This glow. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. And yeah, let's get, just uh, get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new layer above our background layer. We're going to take our polygonal lasso tool right here. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to see our... Um, window right here right and we're gonna cut out our window just like this after you do that you're gonna hold shift to where you see this plus and you're just gonna cut out all of our windows right here we're just gonna do every one so after you have done that you can see we have our whole selection right here we're gonna go to adjustments and then brightness and contrast we can just brighten those all the way up just like that and then if we press control and click on this you can see we have this selection right there so next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on this half circle solid color and we want to make it sort of like a orange color just like something like this a little bit more red and we're going to throw it on linear dodge add or color dodge we're going to see which one you might want to do color dodge and we can just make it more of an orange color like that I like that okay so you can see we just put it on color dodge we mess with the color to make it something that you know we think looks good next thing we'll do is we'll take our brush we will click this dark orange color put it on linear dodge add just like this we'll put our flow on about 9 10 somewhere around there and we can just paint on all around these windows just like this you can see I'm just painting on the edge with a soft brush we'll just go sort of on the outside here up around just sort of like that right I want to make it a little bit brighter on these edges and you can click this layer mask button and you can Press X to where you have your black brush and sort of make it die down a little bit. Just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another layer. And this one's going to be this yellow right here. And we can actually just color in this yellow closer to our window. Feather it out a little bit. Sort of like last time. Just making those areas brighter. Same layer mask. And then fade it out a little bit more just tapping we're getting closer and closer to the window just like that you can see what we have right now just like that the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to what did I say like that we are going to create a solid color go right here control I and then double click on this and you're going to see your eyedropper. We're going to go ahead and click this, uh, something like this orange right here should work. And then what we can do is take our white brush, flow at 100. And this pole right here will be get, getting uh, hit by our light, right? We'll be hitting the bottom right here. So we can just press shift after we clicked over there. And if we press shift, you can see it just makes a straight line. We'll actually do it one more time right there make our brush big press X and then we can just fade that out just like that see the effect that has right there we can also do it up here same thing uh, a ton of places you can do this I know I did it also right sort of on this uh, I did it on this um, flag right here in this uh, thing right there. I don't know what to call that. But <coughs> the next thing we did is we just wanted some sort of harsher uh, light because the light's hitting his face obviously a lot. So we just painted right here. Just like that. Put on linear dodge add. Just sort of around like right here. And that is how we made that window light up right there. And this was our final product of that window. 
So yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. Uh, let me know if this helped y'all. Appreciate it, and I'll see y'all.